Attorney General Merrick Garland's refusal to produce this evidence establishes a clear pattern of obstruction by the DOJ to cover up President Biden's wrongdoing. This is a colossal waste of time, but more importantly, it is dangerous. What they are doing is dangerous. Heated debate on the House floor before Congress voted along party lines to hold Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt. On this vote, the yeas are 216, the nays are 207. The resolution is adopted. Republicans want Garland to release recordings of President Biden from his interview in a special counsel investigation into classified documents stored at his home. Special counsel Robert Hur decided not to prosecute the president. The attorney general invoked executive privilege. Garland has already released the written transcripts, but Republicans say that doesn't paint a clear enough picture. Democrats claim Republicans could edit the audio clips to make the president look bad. So they're looking for the audio tape so they can make some uh, political TV attack ads. It's now up to the Justice Department, which Garland oversees, to decide on prosecuting him. Florida Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna says she's considering going a step further with a motion that could lead to Garland's arrest. Apparently, legally, there is some precedent mm -hmm. for being able to do that, so I, I'm all for it. I mean, he is thumbing his nose at us, and he's not doing what he should be doing. After the vote, Garland released a statement calling it deeply disappointing and accusing Republicans of turning their serious congressional authority into a partisan weapon. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.